The Dr. Abbas Khan Emergency Medical Ambulance Service has been operating in Syria since the beginning of this bloody conflict. The situation in Syria is one of devastation and chaos. The civilian population are facing constant bombardment from airstrikes and bombings. Many of the casualties from this humanitarian crisis are women and children. Human Aid UK has been at the forefront in delivering necessary aid to those people who have been severely injured. A brave step taken by the charity to ensure that medical aid and help is there for those who need it most. Situations such as this are becoming increasingly common in Syria and people are being stranded with no aid or nowhere to go. Human Aid UK trained local Syrians basic life support skills and empowered the community to support the medical services. I'm Dr. Abdullah al Darwish from Kafar Zeta, Reef Hama. I live in Kafar Zeta. Uh, I work in hospitals in Kafar Zeta. I'm a surgeon specialist. I uh, work in uh, Kafar Zeta Hospital, Latana Hospital, and in another hospital, we make it in Hama and Rif Idlib Jinobi. I study in uh, Aleppo University, then in uh, Homs Military Hospital as a resident surgery. Human Aid UK has been working closely with doctors in the region, providing them with medical equipment. Here on the, the east of uh, Hama, about 20 cars, all work as ambulance, and this ambulance transfer the patient, the emergency case, from hospitals to another hospitals. Also, we have cars for transfer the patients, the emergency case, from the area of peril, or uh, explosion, or uh, fighting to the hospitals, then from hospital, hospital to another hospital. They bring him very quickly, very fastly, then uh, many patients saved by this ambulance. And uh, that ambulance also uh, work to bring the patient, especially in Kafar Zeta, that uh, patients uh, attacked by chloride. You know, Kafar Zeta attacked by uh, chloride uh, many times, about uh, 10 times attacked. And many, many patients, about 100 patients in one attack, that ambulance break them to the hospitals. Then we manage them and they take the, 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 the severe case to another hospital, to high hospital or to Turkey. Uh, maybe that uh, the patient need uh, chest operation or uh, vascular operation or brain operation, we send them to another hospital, to high hospital by the ambulance. If there is no ambulance, many, many patients will die. Mm -hmm. Many child, many women, many uh, young man, they will die if there is no ambulance. You know the situation, our situation is very, very difficult. Human Aid UK has developed good relationship links with local hospitals in Syria, providing them much needed support for the medical services facing huge pressure from such increased demand. This invaluable service has reached countless trauma patients, both young and old, and continues to do so through your generous donations. Many young children have been seen coming into these hospitals with severe injuries from bombings and airstrikes. Our ambulances play a vital role in manoeuvring disaster scenes and bringing patients quickly to the hospitals to be stabilized. The 4x4 is very fastly 
and it can go directly to the area of excluded. Another ambulance can't go to that uh, side. But this 4x4, it's very, very, very useful for that one. It has uh, high uh, dawalib. Then uh, it can go directly to the, the, the area of excluded, bring the patient very fastly, bring them to us, to our hospital and another hospital, then we can manage that patient. Because that ambulance can go in the, uh, the street nice, but that 4x4 can go to anywhere to bring that patient. Mm -hmm. And you know, after Paris will come, the, the, the area will be uh, many things. Only that 4x4 can go inside it. You are the one who give us the ambulances. That means you are the one who help us. By you, that things, that helping come from UK to us. If you are not there, nothing will come to us. So, uh, yes, Jazakumullah for the khair. In memory of Dr. Abbas Khan, who gave his life bettering the lives of the Syrian people. Keep on.